Mary O'Farrell to open the Sydney Business Park. It is nothing less than a phenomenal outcome for Western Sydney. A business park, a $2 billion investment here, uh, jointly supported by state, local government and federal government, as has already been uh, highlighted. And the best achievements we ever get is when all three levels of government work together in conjunction with the private sector. And on that point, can I say and congratulate Rob Wern and the Singh family for having the tenacity and the patience and the financial capability to be able to bring this particular project to fruition. Once completed, this particular business park will provide 17,000 jobs on behalf of Western City. The project has been supported by the state government through the Accelerated Precinct Program, and the reason it has happened is because we have announced 170,000 new jobs across the Sydney metropolitan area, with the bulk of those homes going right here in Western Sydney. It is one thing to provide the homes on behalf of that growing population, it is quite another to deliver employment on behalf of that population growth. And that is where we see integrated planning work so well. And this particular project, above all else, has achieved wonderful integrated planning principles, combining commercial, retail, industrial, medical and educational facilities on this one 256 hectare site. And I might just say that not only it is, a, it is the biggest business park in New South Wales, I firmly believe it is the big, biggest business park of its kind, probably in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm happy to be corrected on that, but this is a phenomenal sized business park bringing and encapsulating all of those areas together. One of the most important aspects of... We've just kicked in. <laughs> Do you want me to start again? <laughs> One of the most important aspects whenever uh, people are planning important precincts such as this is to secure key anchor tenants. Key anchor tenants such as IKEA, such as Bunnings, Masters, Costco, McDonald's or Shell. Any one of those particular enterprises, any one of those businesses that could be secured on a site like this would ensure the success of this project. But the people who have been involved in bringing this together has secured every one of those businesses. IKEA, Bunnings, Costco, Masters, McDonald's and Shell. Can I say to those representatives that are here today, congratulations and thank you for your support and your investment here in Western Sydney. It is a major growth area. The New South Wales Government, as I said, have not only supported this through the planning processes, but have also supported this particular project through upgrades, $100 million into investment into Richmond Road, which directly links this precinct to the M7, which in turn links this area to all the major regional centres across the city metropolitan area. Added to that has been a major investment in the link between Schofields Road and back to this particular area of Richmond Road, which then again links to the important and growth areas of Rouse Hill. But most importantly of all, the investment by the New South Wales Government into the most important piece of infrastructure for this state, the, New South, the North West Rail Link, at a cost of $8.3 billion and securing the additional corridor that will link public transport right to the doorstep of not only this growing Sydney business park, but also to the growing housing developments of this area of Western Sydney is vitally important. Ladies and gentlemen, can I thank people such as I've said, Rob Wern and the Singh family, for having the vision and tenacity to go ahead with this particular project, but also people such as Owen Walsh and Matt Bowles, and all the people and all the participants that have driven and have been behind this project for many, many years. We look forward to partnering with you in a very, very successful outcome in the future. And can I, uh, can I now take the opportunity uh, with these people to officially declare this Sydney Business Park open? Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Ray. Just before we do get the scissors out, uh, I guess the local community of Marsden Park and the broader Blacktown area, as you've heard, are also always at the forefront uh, of our mind when we're doing the planning of the business park. We hope that the investment in the infrastructure, the job opportunities and the new amenities will continue to build on the great communities in this region.